okay uh, in this video i will explain more on the lmtd method because previously i've already mentioned that there will be two uh, method in order for you to do analysis on heat exchanger so first method is lmtd method so the temperature difference between the hot and cold fluid varies along the heat exchanger so it is convenient to have a mean temperature difference tm for use in the relations so q dot equal to u e s delta t mean so we consider this parallel flow double pipe heat exchanger in this figure so an energy balance on each fluid in the diff differential sections of the heat exchanger will be uh, write down the differential in these kinds of forms okay so you don't have to worry because you will not uh, deal with the derivations of this equation after we do some derivation we will uh, get this okay the rate of heat transfer in the differential sections of the heat exchanger from here 1120 can be expressed as this so delta q dot equal to u t hot minus t cold uh, das differential of as okay substitute substituting this equation into equation 1120 so this equation substitute into this equation so we will get this kinds of equation after integrating this equation we will get this equation so ln th out minus tc out over th in minus tc in equal to negative uas 1 over m dot cph plus 1 over m dot cpc so solving equation 11 9 and 11 10 11 9 and 11 10 uh, so this is uh, 11 9 and 11 10 is from uh, previous uh, slide so we will get this equation q dot equal to u a s delta t log mean so delta t log mean is actually delta t1 minus delta t2 over ln delta t1 over delta t2 so you will use these two equation in order for you to solve lmtd method okay for you to determine what is the rate of heat transfer you will use this equation here we will use delta t log mean okay so delta t log mean this is the equation okay delta t log mean is a log mean temperature difference so delta t1 and delta t2 are the temperature difference between the two fluids at the two ends so here we can see that delta t1 is th in minus tc in t hot in minus tc in and delta t2 is th out minus tc out okay so it makes no difference which end of the heat exchanger is designed as the inlet or the outlet you may uh, calculate the delta t1 at this location or delta t1 at this location so either one Maybe you want to uh, calculate delta T1 at here, and then this area should be delta T2. So after that, you will substitute into this equation in order for you to determine what is the delta log mean. Okay. So counter flow heat exchanger. So this equation, this equation. Is derived from parallel flow double pipe heat exchanger okay but if we are calculating delta t log mean for a counter flow we will see that delta t log mean for counter flow is is much more greater than delta log mean for parallel flow so here we derive this equation is from parallel flow uh, heat exchanger for double pipe and when we are calculating the delta log mean for a counter flow heat exchanger it's shown that delta t log mean for cross flow 
uh, sorry, counter flow is much more greater than data log mean for parallel flow. This value means that a smaller surface area, a smaller heat exchanger is needed to achieve a specified heat transfer rate in counter flow heat exchanger. Okay, for the counter flow, we will use the same equation as parallel flow. So we will use these kinds of equation and uh, counter flow is much more effective in order for us to uh, transfer heat since the delta T log mean for cross flow is much more greater than delta T log mean parallel flow where we can have uh, a smaller surface area uh, for the cross flow compared to the parallel flow. Okay, uh, sometimes in the heat exchanger, you may exp uh, you may uh, face or you may uh, require to solve the equation for a multi plus multi pass and cross flow heat exchanger. So when you deal with multi pass and cross flow, you have to add a correction factor to correct the value of your delta T log mean. So here we have F. This F is a correction factor and delta t log mean cf is comes from this equation so you will use the same equation as this but for the delta log mean you have to include f where f is a friction uh, sorry a correction factor what is multi pass and cross flow heat exchanger cross flow heat exchanger is the heat exchanger like a radiator so as you, uh, as my previous video, I've already mentioned that under the cross flow, we have unmixed and mixed flow. So that is a cross flow. And then the multi pass is one shell uh, pass, a two, two tube passes, that is multi pass. Okay, in sh normally multi pass is in shell and tube heat exchanger. Okay, two shell pass, four, two shell pass, four tube passes is one of the multi-pass uh, heat exchanger, okay? So to deal or to calculate a rate of heat transfer for both of that uh, types of heat exchanger, you have to include friction, uh, this uh, correction factor. Where can you get this correction factor? So you will refer to the chart for common shell and tube and cross flow heat exchanger. So here, to refer to this figure, you have to calculate P and value of R here. So both of these values must be calculated before you can refer to this uh, chart. Okay, so P is T2 minus T1 over capital T1 minus T1. So what is the difference between T and T? capital letter T and small letter T. Capital letter T is for shell side. Shell side. Okay. Whereas for T, smaller T is for tube side. Okay. So both of these is a temperature value. So refer to your shell side and tube side in order for you to get what is the value of both uh, of that temperature. So T2 is temperature at tube side, okay, outlet, outlet temperature, and then T1 is temperature inlet at tube side. T1, uh, capital letter T1 is temperature inlet at tube, uh, at shell side, and then T, smaller T1 is uh, temperature inlet for tube. For the R, we have T1 minus T2 over smaller T2 minus T1. So again, capital letter T is for shell side, whereas for uh, small T is for tube side. So you have to substitute all the temperature and then calculate what is the value of R and value of P. After you found this value, you have to refer to this figure in order for you to determine what is the correction factor. So I will uh, explain more on how to see or how to read this chart 
uh, next video. And for now, I will uh, briefly explain on how to uh, see this figure, okay, or chart. So after you get the the value of P and R, so here is the value of P. So let's say you have the value of P is 0 0.4. So you have to draw a line here up to 1. And then after that, your R value is represent this uh, curve. This curve. And then if your R value is, for example, uh, 1.5. So your intersection is in here so after your you get the intersection then you have to drag your value your uh, point to this correction factor and then you have to calculate what is this correction factor and then after that you substitute into log mean temperature difference so here this value that is what we required in order to solve for multipass or cross flow heat exchanger so you have a different uh, types of uh, chart so you have to see the chart name here a is one shell pass two four six etc cube passes so if your question uh, mentioned about one shell passes and two cube passes so you have to refer this figure, this chart. If your uh, question uh, mentioned about two shell passes and four, eight, and twelve, any multiple of four cube passes, you will refer to this chart. So different uh, types of uh, heat exchanger will have different uh, chart. Okay. So now here is for the cross flow. So take a look at the figure here. This is cross flow. So we have two different types of cross flow. One is single pass cross flow with both fluid and mix, where there will be no fin in between of uh, flow, okay? In between of the cross flow. So you may refer this figure in my uh, example, not, uh, no, in my first video where I, already see uh, I've already shown you and explained to you about this cross flow okay so first C is for both fluid and mix and then the second one is here D is single pass cross flow with one fluid mix and the other unmixed so this is for a D D is for unmixed flow okay this is for mixed flow c is for mixed flow and then d is for unmixed flow so here a is for one shell passes okay and b is two shell passes okay so you have to refer to specific uh, types of heat exchanger. Okay, if you are referring to shell and tube as heat exchanger, there will be two different uh, chart. If your uh, question mentioned about one shell passes, two or four or six uh, tube passes, therefore you will refer to figure A. Okay. So the heat exchanger design procedure using LMTD method. So first, select the types of heat exchanger suitable for the application. So refer to this figure. For example, you have shell and tube heat exchanger. So you will refer to this figure only. Okay. And then one shell passes two tube passes, for example. And then you will refer to this figure, figure A. Okay. Next, determine any unknown inlet or outlet temperature and the heat transfer rate using energy balance. So if uh, if you want to use LMTD method, 
all the values for inlet temperature and outlet temperature for both shell and tube must be known. And if there is no uh, temperature given, therefore you have to use any of uh, energy balance equation or any uh, form of equation or equation uh, to determine what is the inlet and outlet temperature. Okay. Third is calculate the log mean temperature difference, theta t log mean, and the correction factor f if necessary. If you are dealing only with the double pipe heat exchanger, therefore you have not to refer to this figure because this equation is for cross flow. Sorry, this, this equation is for counter flow and parallel flow for double pipe heat exchanger. If your flow, if your uh, log mean temperature is for multipass, therefore you have to calculate what is the friction factor. So from this figure. To determine what is the friction factor, you have to determine what is the value of P and what is the value of R. So to determine the value of P and R, you have to refer to this figure and take a look at this equation. This figure will be provided to you during your exam and all this uh, equation will be given in the figure. Okay, so take a look at here. R value T1 minus T2 over T2 minus T1. And then for the cross flow, we have here. Find those value P and R and then calculate the correction factor. That is only for multipass and cross flow. For, for obtain the value of overall heat transfer coefficient. So from here, we know that to determine the rate of heat transfer, we have to know what is the overall heat transfer coefficient. So you have to determine this by using a suitable method or suitable equation. Okay. And then the last one, the calculate heat transfer surface area ES. Last, if you want to determine what is the rate of heat transfer, you have to substitute into this equation. Again, you have to remember that if you deal with one sh uh, shell and tube heat exchanger or cross flow heat exchanger you have to include friction uh, sorry you have to include the uh, the correction factor f where you can get the correction factor from this figure so you will understand this method when we do example okay